welcome. I'm Maurice Sachi, I'm the chairman of the Centre for Policy Studies, and we're very pleased indeed to be welcoming Andrew Roberts and launching this book here in Sutherlands. I want to thank Andrew McGeekin, who's the boss of Sutherlands, the world's greatest bookshop, and Lord Waldegrave and Sir Evelyn de Rothschild for letting the CPS have this wonderful place tonight. I'm going to introduce Andrew um, properly in a second. I'd like you to know that you're in for a treat. He's not going to speak to us for very long, but however long it is, one minute he says, however long it is, it, I know it'll be a treat because I followed him onto the stage in the Hay Festival, and I watched Geordie Gregg interview Andrew, which Geordie of course did brilliantly, and Andrew was, I watched from the wings the effect that Andrew had on the audience of Hay, he mesmerised them, he captured them completely, and I'm sure he'll do the same tonight. Does he mesmerize me sent to sleep? <laughs> Before I do, it's essential with such a distinguished gathering that I hand you over for one minute to Tim Knox, who will explain how brilliant the Centre for Policy Studies is, and in fact how brilliant he is. And the director of the CPS, Tim Knox. Thank you, thank you, Morris. Typically far too generous. Um, it's wonderful to see so many uh, new faces here this evening. We obviously at the Centre for Policy Studies hope you have a fantastic time. Uh, we have a fantastic programme of all events coming up uh, in the near future, so if you want to come to those, and we very much hope you do, then become a member in the form you can find in every copy of Andrew's book this evening. Uh, so buy the book and become a member. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I first of all, of course, also would like to thank Sutherland's uh, Bookshop and uh, Evelyn and Andrew and everybody uh, to uh, allow us this, uh, this splendid space and also the Centre for Policy Studies. Uh, it's a wonderful organisation which is going to, next week, uh, have to uh, be in the forefront of uh, the um, attack on Corbynomics. Um, I hope that um, there aren't going to be many of you who will say the same thing as the first person I met at this party, uh, which was that he wasn't going to buy my book owing to the fact that it was obviously very depressing. Uh, the fact is that, yes, of course, the first day of the Somme uh, was um, the worst day in the history of the uh, of the British Army, and 30 times more people, more British soldiers died on that day than in the whole of the war against terror in Iraq and Afghanistan over the last 12 years. Um, in fact, most of them in the first 15 minutes of that day. But it is not depressing, because it's also a story of fantastic courage, of extraordinary uh, self-sacrifice, of men going back into uh, no man's land three or four times in order to um, bring back their wounded comrades. It's actually an extremely uplifting, indeed almost on occasions exhilarating uh, uh, story. And I've written uh, and edited 17 books. This is the only one in which I've actually been moved to tears uh, on reading the testimony of these extraordinary men. Men who uh, did things that I don't believe uh, that we're capable of now, and uh, they are giants compared to us. So uh, don't think of this, please, as a depressing book, but instead something that makes you really feel proud. And uh, that's all I have to say. Thank you very much. Indeed.